morning, everyone. I did it as the upstanding. To the glory and honor of our Father in heaven, I welcome you to a very glorious morning glory service on this fourth day of the week in our month of uh, ceaseless praises. You are very welcome. Even for our viewers online, you are also very welcome. Let us all allies and join together and worship our Father. Yes, Lord. Here, 
universe. What can to do? What can to do? What can to do? Yeah. 
Jesus, come on, somebody celebrate the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please take your man, the choir. Thank you. Before we move on, like before we hear God's word, let's spend some little time in prayer. Psalm 84, verse number 11. Psalm 84, verse number 11. Let us demand what God has, the best that God has for us today. For the Lord God is a son and a shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. The Lord will not withhold anything good from you. Open your mouth and say, Oh Lord, uh, this morning we take delivery of all that you have for us today. Lift up your voice. This morning we take delivery of the best that you have for, uh, for us today. The best you have for your children today. In terms of provision, in terms of protection. Open your mouth. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Lord, I take delivery. I take delivery of the best you have. The Bible says no good thing will he withhold. No good thing will he withhold. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. You are a child of God. You deserve the best. Lift up your voice. Are you to demand the best? The scripture says every good and perfect thing comes from above. From the father of lies. Lord, I receive all that you have for us today. I I take it. I receive it. I receive it. In terms of provision, direction, preservation, I receive. Lift up your voice as you receive what God has for us today. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Our prayer number two is in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 13. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. And thou shalt be above only. And thou shalt not be beneath, if that thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day to observe and to do them. Someone open your mouth and pray, Father God, we declare this new day as our day of above only existence. In the name of Jesus, we refuse my father to be put down by any by any, any, any enemy force uh, of wickedness, Lord. Uh, enemy force of bitterness. Uh, my father, we refuse, we refuse. Uh, enemy force, my father of jealousy. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, our presence as uh, a church is above only. Above only and not beneath. Uh, top and not the tail. My father, my father, as a family, Lord. Uh, as servants, my father, for you, king of all the glory. As seekers of the kingdom. Uh, our presence at the top only. My father, my father, we refuse to be pulled down in the name of Jesus on behalf of the, our families, Lord. We refuse they will not be pulled down in our businesses, Lord. In our works of our hands will not be pulled down at all. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Prayer number three comes from the book of Psalms 37 verse number 23. Psalms 37 Verse number 23, the Bible says the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he delighted in his way. Let's all lift up our voice and say, oh Lord, we take for the full delivery of all the good things you have in store for us this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We take full delivery of all good things you have for us in this church, of all good things you have for us in our families, in our fellowship. We take delivery of all good things you have for us in store for the, in the name of Jesus Christ this morning, oh Lord, as we continue Continue to venture in this new day, my Father and our God. We take good, full delivery of all good things that pertains to us, that pertains to our families, that pertains to our church, that pertains in our fellowship. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, all good things that you have in store for us, it is our portion this morning. Father, you are ordering our steps, my Father. You are ordering our steps. Let all our church members and and all those who know this church receive the mystery of their divinely ordered steps to be here in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My Father, my Father, let all our church members, my Redeemer and our God, be ordered by your steps for the glory and honor of your holy name. We thank you, Father, because we are taking full delivery in our presence of our work. 
heart, in our fellowship. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Prayer number four, Exodus chapter one, verse number seven. And, and the children of Israel were fruitful and increased abundantly and multiplied and waxed exceeding, exceeding mighty and the land was filled with them. Open your mouth and say, Father, we increase supernatural growth upon this church in the mighty name of Jesus. In this season, oh God, we declare growth into a, into a realm, Lord, that the eye has not seen, that the ear has not heard. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare, oh Jehovah, we decree growth in our homes, Lord, growth in our businesses, oh God, we decree growth in the lives of our church members, in everything that they do. Dear Lord, we decree growth, Almighty God. Oh Lord, cause us to grow spiritually, mighty God. Financially, oh Lord. Materially, Jehovah. Numerically, in every area of our lives, mighty God. Cause us to grow, dear Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, we decree growth, oh Lord. Growth in our homes, growth in our businesses, growth in our church, Almighty God. In the name of Jesus, we decree growth. Growth in our lives, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer number five, Job 9, 7 to 10. Which commandeth the sun and it riseth not, and sealeth up the stars. Verse 8. Which alone spreadeth out the heavens and treadeth upon the waves of the sea. 9. Which marketh actors, Orion and Pleiades, and chambers of the south. Verse 10. Which doeth great things past finding out ye, and wonders without number. Lift up your voice and say, O oh Lord, we declare that this week, this month, is our season of miracles and wonders, O oh Lord. Our season of miracles and wonders, Jehovah, O oh Lord. We are declaring, O oh Lord, in this month of April and onwards, O oh Lord, miracle signs and wonders shall be our portion, Jehovah, O oh Lord. In our families, O oh Lord, in our children's life, O oh my Father, in our homes, in our marriages, Jehovah, O oh Lord. We shall see miracles, we shall see signs and wonders, O oh Lord. Jehovah, visit us, O oh my Father. Visit us as a church, O oh Jehovah. Visit the church members, O oh my Father and my God. Let there be signs and wonders and miracles in our lives, O oh Lord. Let our lives glorify your name, O oh my Father. Let people look and see and know that we serve a true and living God, Jehovah, O oh Lord. Father, let there be miracles. Let there be signs and wonders, O oh Lord. Let there be testimonies in our lives, O oh Lord, that will show that you have this power in you, O oh Lord, that there is your hand of might, mighty power upon our lives, O oh my Father and my God. Father, let us see miracles, O oh my Father, in our church all around us, O oh my Father and my God. Let there be miracles, O oh Lord. We are not serving you in vain, O oh my Father and my God. Our coming before you, O oh Lord, it shall be answered with miracles, O oh my Father. Answered prayers, O oh my Father. Great and mighty things shall go on in our lives, O oh Lord. Our lives shall glorify you in everything that we do, O oh Lord. In our places of work, in our businesses, O oh Lord. When people look, they'll know we serve a true and living God, O oh Jehovah. Because there shall be testimonies, O oh Lord. There shall be answers, O oh my Father. There shall be results, O oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Prayer number six. We are reading Psalms 94, verse number one. O oh Lord, O oh Lord God, to whom vengeance belong, belongeth, O oh God, to whom vengeance belongeth, show thyself. Open your mouth and say, Father God, we invoke vengeance upon all resistance of the devil and against the growth of this church. In the name of Jesus, we invoke vengeance, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever, Lord, has been, resistant, been a resistance to the growth of this church, to the soul winning of this church, Lord God Almighty, visit them with your fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, O oh Lord, let every resistance and receive judgment of fire in the mighty name of Jesus for sins of darkness that has been responsible oh God to the growth of this to, to the valley of growth of this church let them rece receive vengeance in the name of Jesus diabolical forces demonic forces from the powers of darkness oh Lord God oh Jehovah let them receive fire judgment of 
fire in the name of Jesus. Arise and judge them in the mighty name of Jesus. Arise and destroy them in the name of Jesus. Arise and scatter them in the name of Jesus. Every power of darkness that has been resisting the growth of this ministry, the growth of our families, oh God, in the name of Jesus, arise in your power and destroy them. Release fire in the name of Jesus. You say in your word, Lord, I shall go before you like a raging fire, destroying forces, destroying obstacles. Lord, do it to us this morning. In the name of Jesus, let every resistance give way. In the name of Jesus, let every resistance be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, let every obstacle be removed. In the name of Jesus, every resistance to the growth of this church, every resistance to the growth of businesses, every resistance to the growth of our lives. Oh God, let it catch fire. Let it catch fire. In the name of Jesus, rest, oh God, release vengeance, release judgment upon them, oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Prayer number seven, Numbers 11, 31. Numbers 11, 31. And there went forth a wind from the Lord and brought quails from the sea and let them fall by the camp as it were a day's journey on this side and as it were a day's journey on the other side, round about the camp and as it were two cubits high upon the face of the earth. Lift up your voice and say, O oh Lord, this morning and this day and this week, Jehovah, commission the reaper's angels, O oh Lord, to go forth into the city and bring about a great harvest of souls, O oh Lord. Let there be a great harvest of souls into your kingdom, O oh my Father and my God. Release your ministering angels, O oh my Father. Let them minister all around, O oh my Father and my God. Let us harvest souls for your kingdom, Jehovah, O oh Lord. Cause us to harvest souls for your kingdom, O oh Lord. Father, wherever we step, O oh Lord, let there be impact, O oh my Father and my my God, put in us the right words, O oh Lord, to have a soul for your kingdom, O oh Lord, in our families, O oh my Father, in our homes, O oh Lord, wherever we go, in our places of work, in our places of business, Jehovah, O oh Lord, let us have a soul for your kingdom, O oh Lord, let us cause men and women to come into your kingdom, Lord, let us cause men and women to come into our kingdom, O oh Lord, with what we speak, O oh my Father and my God, let them be attracted to you, Jehovah, in our lifestyle, O oh Lord, Father, let us attract people to you, O oh my Father and my God, in everything that we do let us be solution givers oh my father and my god let us bring men and women to you oh lord let us bring solution unto your kingdom oh my father and my god let us cause men to be attracted to you oh lord anything in us that will not attract people to you father we reject it in the mighty name of jesus we reject it oh lord father use us as your vessels oh my father and my god to reach out to men and women oh lord people who are lost oh my father souls that are lost in this world oh my father and my god let us be there for your kingdom jehovah Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Can we celebrate the Lord somebody? Our prayers, I believe, are answered. God has heard our prayer, and God has answered our prayer. Please celebrate him more and more. Please celebrate him more and more, more and more, more and more. Hallelujah. Lift up your voice. Lift up your hands, everybody. This morning is a wonderful God. It's a glorious God. What a mighty God we serve. He reigns eternally. He reigns forever and ever. You reign, you and Jen Zionski, Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on the throne. Hey, you reign, oh Lord, you reign, you and Jen Zionski, Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. You are mighty on the throne. You are 
up your hands and tell him, Lord, you are the one that reigns. You are mighty on your throne. Open your mouth. You are mighty on your throne. You are enthroned on high, seated enthroned on high. Baba, your place is secure. You have no competitor. You have no rival. You are the Lord, the one and the only one. The one who reigns eternally. The one who reigns in majesty. Open your mouth, everybody. Lift up your voice, come on. Lift up your voice, come on and tell him. You reign, you reign, you reign, you reign, you reign. We praise you today, Father. We give you glory and praise. We give you glory and adoration, our Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord who reigns eternally, the Lord who reigns forever, be glorified and be exalted this morning. Thank you so much, our Father. Thank you again and again and again. Father, we thank you for opportunity to be in your house this morning. Baba, we are grateful to you. Thank you again and again. Bless us this morning mightily. Breathe upon your word and your blessing to your one this morning. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. Amen and amen. Please take your miracle seat. Thank God for this opportunity, opportunity to be in his presence. David yearned for that opportunity. He said, I was glad when they said unto me, when, where, let us go where? Into the house of the Lord. There's another place where David said that, you know, you know, you know, the desire that he had was just to be in God's presence. He said one, one day in the presence of God, in the courts of God, is better than a thousand outside. A thousand, think of it. Praise the Lord. I say praise. So we thank God. I also thank God for our father, the Lord, our bishop for his mentorship and for the privilege of just, you know, allowing me to share the word with us this morning. Praise the Lord. The Lord has a blessing for you and me this morning. I said the Lord has a blessing for you and me this morning. We have been talking about the blessing of Judah, the blessing of Judah. Remember the month of April, just like Judah is the fourth son of Jacob, the, of the 12 sons, among the 12 sons of Jacob, uh, April being the fourth month of this year, Amen. April, April, being the fourth month of this year, is the month of Judah, is the month of praise. Judah means praise. So which means the month of April, we shall praise the Lord all the way. Somebody is not receiving. I said the month of April, we shall praise the Lord all the way. May the Lord God give you a reason to praise him in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Go, let us go to Gen Genesis chapter 49. Genesis chapter 49. Hallelujah. You know, if, if, if when Leah got Judah, one of the things that Leah spoke prophetically is that, and now I will praise the Lord. And now I will praise the Lord. That is why we are talking about praise. That's why we are talking about Judah. Praise the Lord. Okay, let's go to, the, the father was speaking in their life. He called them. He told them, gather his sons. Look at it. Jacob called unto his sons and said, gather yourself together that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. In the last days. Don't joke with the blessings of the father. Very important. And by this time, he was about to go. So he told them, we are gathered together, just like the way we have gathered here. And he started speaking. And he started speaking. Hallelujah. Some, he released the words which are not very good, like Reuben. But when it came to Judah, look at the blessing that he spoke in the life of Judah. Go to Genesis chapter 49, verse number 8 and verse number 9. Genesis, okay, let's begin from verse number 7. Though, yes, uh -huh, verse number 7. First part, yes. Cast with their anger, okay, verse number 8. Now it came to the time of Judah, and he started speaking, verse number 8. Go to verse number 8, yes. Judah, thou art he whom thy 
brethren shall praise. Look at that. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thy enemy. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. We spoke about that. The next verse, verse number nine. Judah is a lion's whelp. From the prey, my son, thou art gone up. He stooped down. He caught as a lion and as an old lion who shall arouse him up. Now, for the sake of understanding, can we do New Living Trans Living Bible? Do you have Living Bible? In case you don't have Living Bible, go to New Living Translation. If you have Living Bible, fine. If you don't have, go to New Living Translation. Let's just read it. Yes, thank you. Judah, my son, is a young lion that has finished eating the prey. Hey. Did you see that? I don't know whether sometimes you watch the, geogra ge the geogra geographical classes. You find that sometimes there's an animal that will start eating and eating and eating and eating and then he will not eat maybe half food. Another animal will come. You see that. And especially cheetah, for example, when cheetah gets an, an antelope and he will start eating. But when hyena, just a mere hyena comes, cheetah will take to his heels and will go. The Bible says like this, that Judah, and like a young lion that has finished eating his prey. Like a lion, he crouches and lies down after he's satisfied. Like a lioness who dares to arouse him. Now, number one blessing, we are talking about the two unbeatable blessings of Judah. Two unbeatable blessings of Judah. The first one this morning is the blessing of enjoying what you have labored for. He says that he has finished eating. So which means he got the prey. Okay, after getting the prey, he started eating. He ate and finished eating. Now like a lion that crouches and lying down. Now he's lying down after he has finished eating. After he's satisfied. Hey, may God give you a blessing that will make you to be satisfied. But the point here is, is a blessing of enjoying. You know, a lion is known by his strength. Once that gets to an animal, he takes time. He eats it and finishes it. He eats it and finishes it. It's a blessing of enjoy. Look, this year, between now and the end of the year, you will enjoy the work of your labor. I say you and I will enjoy the work of our labor. You will not labor for a man another one to eat. It's just like one animal will labor, labor, kill the another, kill the prey. After kill the another one, powerful one, will come and take over and start enjoying. Hi. That will not be your portion. And start enjoying what somebody else labored for. Look, this year, between now and the end of the year, whatever you have labored for, you, you, you will enjoy. Somebody shout amen. Take me to Isaiah chapter 65, verse number 20 to 22. Isaiah chapter 65, verse number 20 to verse number 22. Amen. There shall be no more days and infant days, okay, nor an, an old man that has lived not seen these days. For this, their child that shall die, and a hundred years shall be counted. Okay? Uh, okay, as a child shall die, as a hundred years, but the sinner, being an old, being an, an hundred years shall be considered as a calf. The next verse, verse 21. They shall be the houses and do what? That which shall be your portion. He says you shall build and inhabit it. And they shall plant olive uh, vineyards and eat the fruit. And enjoy the fruit. And enjoy the sweat. Hey, the Bible says they shall not build and another one inhabit. They shall not plant and another one eat. For as the days of the tears, the days of my people and my elect shall do what? They shall enjoy the work of the hand. Lift up your hands and say in the name of Jesus, I will enjoy the work of my hand. I cannot hear you say it powerfully. In the name of Jesus, I will enjoy the work of my hand. You will not labor for another one to come and eat. Somebody say I reject that. Hallelujah. He said they shall not build and another one inhabit. You know, there are people who do that. They build and after they are building, they go. I've seen people in my area, for example, where I come, uh, uh, I come from, that somebody built a powerful house, a very big house for that matter. Ten-roomed house. Fenced it. After he had finished everything, he died. 
thing. There are people called Nyangarika. You know the Nyangarika, the people who are who want to, to, to eat from where they have not left. They will now come and sleep in that house. Talk anyhow. They don't know what happened. They don't know. That will not be your portion. Think of that. There are people who labor, but they don't enjoy. He said, Judah, you will eat and finish it. Hallelujah. Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse number 19. Look at it. Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse number 19. Every man also to whom God has given riches and wealth and has given him the power to eat. So there are people who have riches and wealth and they don't have a power to eat. Do you agree with me? Oh, yes. They don't eat. They don't eat flesh. They don't eat many things. They eat only vegetables. The doctor said you should not eat flesh. The doctor said, the doctor said, the doctor said. Think of that. The Bible says that to every man to whom God has given riches and wealth, then number two, he has given him power. You and I, God, may God give you riches and may God give you wealth and may God give you the power to enjoy it. So which means there are people who don't enjoy. They don't enjoy their money. Some other people enjoy their money. Maybe because of sickness, because of some situation. And to take his portion and to rejoice in his labor. This, the Bible says, this is the gift of God. This is the gift of God. The gift of enjoying what you have labored for. It's a gift. Enjoying what you have labored for. It's a gift of God. Praise the Lord. You know, after you have fed for your children, you have children by the grace of God, and now living to see those children is a gift of God. Then you should be receiving. You'll be in their wedding. It's a gift of God. Because not everybody who has children, some of them, they disappear before their children go. Then somebody else will stand in, the, in their place. Somebody say, I reject it. Somebody else will stand in their place as a foster father, as a foster mother, that I'm the father. And he does not know anything about that child. Think of that. He does not know how that child was raised. He does not know anything. He said that I'm the father. And so what was supposed to be given to the father? The father went. It be given to him. We have to reject it. Are we together? The blessing of Judah, the bitter blessing of Judah, is the blessing of enjoying what you have labored for. You enjoy it. You live to see it. You live to see it. Do you know, brothers and sisters, Sarah never enjoyed Isaac. Are you aware? Uh -huh. The day Isaac got married, Sarah was not around. Are you aware? Sarah, I can you imagine what joy. What a joy when a child, when our wife Isaac had Rebecca, and Isaac would take Rebecca to Sarah and say, this is, my, this is my wife, bless her for me. Sarah was not there. Sarah was not there. She never lived to a joy. How many years did he wait? Did she wait? Many years. But she died early. That will not be your portion. Number two, unbeatable blessing is a blessing of settlement. Look at that, uh, that, that, that scripture again. Genesis chapter number 9, chapter 49 rather, verse number 9. Genesis chapter, uh, he says that, and Judah is a land's way from the prey, from the prey, my son, thou art gone up. He stooped down, he crouched as a lion, as an old lion, who shall arouse him? He crouched like a lion. Another version says that he settles down. So it's a blessing of settlement. Another blessing of Judah in this context, is a blessing of settlement. Look, God wants you to settle down. Settlement is God's will. God is not happy when you jump from one place to another. God is not happy. Some of us are like that. Maybe they are not here. Maybe they are watching. Some of people are like that. They move from place to place, from church to church, from job to job, business, close another one, start another. That is not God's will. God wants you to settle down. Amen? First Peter chapter 5, verse number 10. Look at it. The book of First Peter chapter 5, verse number 10. The Bible says, The God of all grace, who has called us unto his eternal glory by, by Christ Jesus, after that you have suffered a while, he will make you perfect, he will establish you, he will strengthen you, and do what? He will settle you. God wants to settle you. This year may the Lord settle you. I say this year may the Lord settle you. The Lord said to you this year, in the name of Jesus.
Somebody say hallelujah. Yes, God is a God of settlement. He's a God who enjoys. He takes pride in settling his son and his daughter. Praise the Lord. Now, there's something that I never mentioned. I just want to mention it be before we praise briefly this morning. When you're talking about the blessing of Judah, it is very important for you to know the nature of the blessing. The nature of the blessing. Very important. One of the things that you need to know is that the blessing, the blessing, and this blessing that came upon Judah is the blessing that had no sorrow. Is the blessing that had no sorrow. It's not the blessing that you eat and you are sorrowful again. No. It's the blessing that the Bible says the blessing of the Lord and make it sweet and add it no sorrow. So it's the blessing with no sorrow. No sorrow attached to it. When God releases his blessing, it's a blessing with no sorrow attached to it. Do you know that Ishmael brought sorrow? He brought sorrow to Abraham and Sarah. Ishmael. To Abraham's family. Ishmael brought sorrow. Ishmael also brought confusion. Confusion. He brought antagonism between Abraham and Sarah. Ishmael, think of that. But what? But about Isaac, Isaac was a blessing. Isaac means laughter. When you're talking about the blessing of you, you're talking about a blessing that will bring laughter. When God causes you to enjoy what you have labored for, that is like Isaac. That's laughter. When God causes you to settle down, that is laughter. May that blessing reach you. May that blessing locate you today in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to rise up on your feet and lift up your hands before the Lord. You are going to pray this morning. We are going to praise, but before that, lift up your voice and say, Father, I receive the blessing of enjoying what I have labored for. In the name of Jesus, I will enjoy what what I have labored for. Open your mouth. Lift up your voice and talk to God. I will enjoy what I have labored for. I will enjoy what I have labored for. Can you lift up your voice, everybody, and talk to God? I will enjoy what I have labored for. Can you lift up your voice? He say he eats his prey and finishes, finishes it. Finish it. He eats and finishes. Open your mouth. I will enjoy. I will enjoy. I receive the blessing of enjoyment. Enjoyment with the work of my hands. My labor. Open your mouth. Lift up your voice, everybody. In the name of Jesus, I want you to declare, I shall not labor in vain. I shall not bring forth for trouble. I shall not labor in vain. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Number two, pray for settlement. Settlement, settlement. I declare settlement. He says he settles down. He crouches like a lion. He lies down. That talks about settlement. This is my year of settlement. Settlement, settlement. Financially, settlement. Maritally, settlement. Spiritually, settlement. Open your mouth. God wants to say to you, he wants you to be settled. He wants you to be settled in your house, in the church. He wants you to be settled. God is not happy when you jump from one place to another. God is not happy. Lord, I receive the grace of settlement. I receive it today. I receive it. Open your mouth, everybody, and talk to God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are going to praise the Lord too, all the way to the blessing. The praise and worship, please come. This is the month of Judah, remember, we are praising God. And this praise is symbolic. Anytime you praise God, there are things that happen. Just briefly, let us just praise him in the beauty of his holiness. Are we together? Just briefly, like three minutes. Let's just praise him. Let's just praise him. Everybody, let's go. He 
before the Lord in the name that is above every other name. Receive the blessing of enjoying what you have labored for. From today you will enjoy because you have praised the Lord. God of heaven will cause you to enjoy what you have labored for, what you are laboring for, what you will labor for in the mighty name of Jesus. Nobody will eat the fruit of your labor in the mighty name of Jesus. And in the name of Jesus, may the Lord say to you, receive settlement. I say receive settlement in every area of your life where you need settlement. May God of heaven settle you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Please celebrate the Lord somebody and take your miracle seat. Thank you, choir. The Lord bless you more and more. Hallelujah. Before we go, we are giving our offering. Amen. For these two unbeatable blessings, let us connect and crown it with our offering. Praise the Lord. In the in the walk in your Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Let the Lord please lift up your hands. Please give let's give them blessed please. Okay, if you're done, rise up on your feet. Lift up that offering before the Lord. Our God and our Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you today. We are grateful to you. You have spoken to us. We have received your word. And lo Lord, we give in the spirit of your word. And we declare that by this offering, we shall enjoy. Lord, we shall not, even our giving shall not be in vain. In the name of Jesus, as we are giving this morning, we position ourselves to receive. In the name of Jesus. And more so, Father, we pray for settlement, especially in our finances. Thank you, Father, for your sons and your daughters this morning. Those who are giving online, the Lord bless you more and more. In Jesus' name. Amen. Please come and make a contact with the offering. The Lord bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Uh, we are coming back in the afternoon. It's going to be very, very powerful. Praise against satanic spirits. There are some things that happen when we praise God. There are some things that happen. And when we praise God, one of the things that happen is that God, the spirits of darkness, they just disappear. And we are going to understand that mystery in the afternoon. Don't miss it. 
and tomorrow is going to be great morning glory. Praise the Lord. The Lord bless you and cause his face to shine upon you. May this day add into your life and may the Lord command this harvest to look for you in Jesus' name. Measure the grace in fellowship and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Look at the screen as we take a warm and date. One, two, good. In this month of April, I am elected by God for continuous praise and ceaseless testimonies. My trust in God is daily confirmed with evidence. I am delivered from all my fears. My shame is turned to fame and my worries to comfort. Mm -hmm. In April, I partake of the goodness of God. Angelic interventions are my daily experience. I lack nothing good because I am blessed of God, of the Lord. In Jesus' name, somebody shout amen. The Lord bless you. Have a wonderful day. You have your tithe here. Please come for the blessing. Moyo.